Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw such kind of curvy slabs in ETABS. Well, let's start. Well, uh, to draw this curve, let's take the measurements from the Archicad file. Here, I have this curved slab here, somewhat curved here. So, uh, here you can see that this curve has a radius of 1.1 meter and this uh, curve is measured from the face of this wall, okay, of this partition wall. Okay, now, but from the center to the end or to this edge of this slab, you have 1.2 meter. So I have a 0.1 meter offset from the center line of this wall. The other issue that we have to know is that from this center to the starting of this curve, we have 0.9 meter. So 0.9 downward from this point and 0.1 meter to this point. So the curve starts from this point and takes this rotation 90 degree and stops here with the center at this location. So we will have to measure this up to here, which is 0.9 meter. Now let's go to our ETAP software. This is the plan. So I am going to measure from this point. Okay. So we said that from this point, we will measure 0.9 meter. Then from this, I will have to offset uh, a 0.1 meter to the right side. Okay. Now let me take uh, some reference points. I can go to draw, then draw joints. Here I have to write uh, how much offsets I need. So from this point downward, I need 0.9 meter, which is 900 millimeter. But since it is downward, I will have to add what negative here, negative here. And the other is I need an offset from the face, uh, from the center, uh, an offset of 0.1 meter, which is 100 to the right, which is positive. Okay. So downward it's Y negative and uh, to the right side, it's X and I will give it 100 millimeter. So with this, let me come here and just click on this. Now I have got this one. Okay. On the other side, I will need just to change this one into positive. So I will delete the negative sign and I, I'm going to come here, then just click on this. Now I have this offset. Now, after this, let me return back to here. Now I need an offset from this edge, from this edge. How much? The radius of this curve, that is 1.1 meter. It is 1,100 millimeter. So an offset from here to here is needed. Okay. Because I will use this point as a rotation for, uh, to draw this curved element. Now, I will need an offset again here. So from here, I will need an offset downward in the negative uh, with a dimension of 1,100 millimeter. So a negative of 1,100 millimeter, but I don't have now any X offsets. So I will make it zero. So now let me click on it here. Now I got the center of my curve. And again here, I can also draw it here, or I can just replicate this one. Anyhow, let me do the same thing, but I will just remove what? The negative. Now I will click on this. Now I have the center of this curve and the center of the other curve. Now let me convert this into a curve. So just select this point, go to edit, then go to extrude, then go to extrude joint to frame. Just I will delete it later if I don't need it. Okay click on this. Now it asks me, is it a linear extrusion or radial extrusion? So I need radial extrusion. Then I will draw just a curve that is 90 degree from this point, then to this side. Okay. Now, if it's in the clockwise direction, then you have to make it negative. If it's counterclockwise, you have to make it positive. Now with the radial, I need to select the point which this point will rotate about. Okay, now I'll come to this one, then just select our center. Now our center is automatically inserted. Now here, this asks me the increment data that's regarding the angle and the number. So the angle will be, now we know that it is 90 degree total. So how much 
each segment will the angle be okay so the angle of each segment will be required here so here maybe you may need to divide it every five degree or every 10 degrees whatever you want okay i'll take maybe 10 degrees okay here so if i need 10 degrees i will need what how many segments i will need nine segments but here don't forget we are going to draw it in the clockwise direction so this value must be negative so total drops so this is we will keep it zero because we are going to draw it in the horizontal only we don't need any drops or any elevations okay now with this let me just click on apply now i have now i have this full uh, 90 degree curved here okay so it is some linear lines but oriented in a curved way in the same way i can draw the other side here just again let me repeat this one just click on this one now select the center now the center is now changed now i need uh, 10 degrees but this will be what in the clockwise direction okay so it's in the clockwise so i will just remove the negative here then this will be nine let me just select this object this point and let me draw it apply now i have the curve here also now i have the curve here and i have the curve here now let me draw my slab here okay so before that let me just connect these points to this beam okay and this point to this beam now with this i'll just select this one then come to linear extrusion then in the dx i will need to move this what by how by how much by negative of 0 0.1 meter because to, it is to the left okay it's to the left now i will write here negative of 0 0.1 dx okay and this can be one and let me uh, what dy must be zero okay now with this i can just say apply then this element will get connected to this one uh, i can do the same here just select okay then now i have completed the two curves here now i can simply go to the slab options so here i have i have to select the appropriate slab maybe slab this one now I start drawing using these joints okay now with this i'm i'm going to draw it like this like this now with this i have completed uh, the drawing of the slab okay with this curved edge on the two sides okay now if you don't need this small frame these frames just you can come here and just delete it and here i can just select this one and delete it okay now this is how you can draw this such kind of slabs and this is one of the best methods of drawing okay and it gives you uh, satisfactory results in the analysis part now if you want to draw it on the other side just you can repeat all the process or just you can just select this one and maybe mirror it okay so i will go to edit then go to here uh, replicate then here mirror okay now i have to give it what the point or a line about which this element will be mirrored okay now if you know the center then you can just take that center and just mirror it for me if you don't know the center just you can come here maybe draw a line from this end to maybe this end right click now in order to activate the midpoint uh, sniping tool you can come here to the left then you can select this option here okay it is midpoint uh, sniping tool now i can select i can come to uh, i can select the slab all together and just to come to here the mirror and here pick point on the model then i can just select the midpoint here now the the midpoint snipes okay okay just like this maybe another location maybe like this okay wherever you can get it okay click on this then you can say just say apply now you get the same slab that's mirrored on the other side so this is how you will do it okay 
uh, if you have any questions you can write in the comment please like the video share it with your friends thank you for watching and see you next time